Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. Quarto version 1.3 has just been released. If you're not already a user of Quarto, check out my previous videos showing how it is like our markdown, but much, much more powerful. So 1.3 has just been released. You can download it from the download page on the Quarto website, quarto.org. And there's a couple of pretty cool new things that it can do. The first is code annotation. So where we have a block of code, we can have it to have little labels and then footnotes giving details about our code. We'll have a look in some more detail how this works in a second. It's a very cool one. The second one, which is going to be really helpful for some of the things that I do, is multi-format publishing. So you can set several formats here to be produced at once, rather than having to mess around with doing this multiple times. So this is a pretty handy one. Sometimes there are differences in how it handles HTML versus PDF, for instance. There might be a little bit of fiddling still to do, but this is just nice, nice handy new feature. The next one, Jupyter Cell Embedding. So you can now embed a little piece of a Jupyter Notebook and you can then include it within your Quarto document. Next up, Confluence Publishing. If you are using Confluence Spaces, you can now use Quarto and produce documents that will be able to go straight into Confluence. For those of you using Confluence, this is definitely going to be a really handy one. Quite a surprising one as well. So really nice to see that integration between two different platforms. We can see there's a few other different bits and pieces there. Depending on how you use Quarto, these may or may not be of use to you. The release notes will detail a whole lot of smaller points as well. Coming over to this code annotation, which is definitely one of the better things from this update. And so we can see that example there. In HTML, we can actually get those uh, one and two, those little points turned into hoverovers. So when we hover over, we can actually see the commentary in a pop-up when we do this as an HTML. When we do it as a PDF, we'll just get the labels there. And they've got the instructions. We can see, like most Cordo things, nice and simple. So we just hash with a uh, little tags here to identify the lines that we're interested in and then underneath we just put our numbered footnotes to go for annotating our code. So that's going to be a much nicer cleaner way of doing it rather than just using hashes like you normally would to comment off code to be able to make your documents and your presentations more presentable. If we want hover over it's just a simple code dash annotations hover and then finally some examples of removing annotations and disabling annotations if we want to do that instead. So that's Quarto 1.3. Definitely check it out if you're already a Quarto user. And if you're not, go back, check out my other videos on getting started with Quarto. Definitely a really nice way to be writing and documenting any R code that you are working with.